hello, hello. We need to talk about Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris, okay? What, I, I, I know there are a lot of people who are very upset, and understandably. And um, I've even had people kind of shocked that I was not, that I was, I put out a reading on something other than that. But here, here is the, the thing. I'm going to just bear with me here because I, I want to talk this through. I am normally way too sensitive about whatever's going on. I, I just feel whatever the energy is in, in the country or the world or, you know, I, I love Christmas Day because there is worldwide, there are enough people celebrating the winter solstice in some form that there's a wonderful feeling in the whole world when massive tragedies happen, I usually can feel that as well. Uh, not not necessarily before it happens, but certainly in the aftermath, the general energy that's kind of floating around the, the world. However, with this, what has happened to the Notre Dame Cathedral is, how do I put this? I am also, let me say, I am also a huge history fan. Huge. I've studied history, all things historical. I believe very much about how those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Uh, and education is incredibly important to me. I, I don't think that you can have, you can have as much of a life if you don't have exposure and education. Uh, I've been to Paris. I've had the great, great fortune to to go to Paris a few times in my life. It, it's been a very long time, but I have been there, and it's I I do understand what's happening. Now, having said that, the reason that for some it's just very strangely I am not overwhelmed with sadness about this is because. Hmm. This is really hard to explain. My entire family is Catholic. And not just, you know, go to Mass on Easter and Christmas kind of Catholic. I mean, very involved in the church, teaching Sunday school, going every to church every week, very involved, uh, praying before meals, uh, daily prayers individually, while I am not Catholic anymore myself, my entire family is Catholic. So in this instance, I, I can say I do have some, some understanding of the Catholic faith. So in this case, let's say, let me, instead of saying the divine, which is what I normally say, let's just say God, because we're talking about a cathedral. All right, let's for, for a moment, let's, let's attempt probably unsuccessfully, but for a moment, let's, let's kind of look at this from God's perspective. You are God. You have, you have created these wonderful human beings all around the world. You know, wh what is it that you most want? I would imagine that what I would, would most want is for those beings to be connected to me and be connected to each other and to work together for the common good and to lift up the most downtrodden and to raise the, it sounds kind of new age, but kind of raise the, the general vibration the, to, to, to a higher level of the world. Now, when the fire started in the cathedral, there are some very, interesting coincidences that happen. They say that 12 million people visit the cathedral every year. 12 million visiting in or around the cathedral. We are talking about a phenomenal number of people who are no normally there. We are talking about an incredible number of religious artifacts and great works of art that are normally in that building. And when this fire started, the visiting hours, as it were, 
had ended, had just ended. So people had, the vast majority of people had left, but it wasn't late at night. So if something like a fire started, there was still sunlight to help firefighters put out any blaze. Because of the renovations, it was heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking to watch the spire fall. But the statues that were in the spire were moved last week for re because of renovations. Last week they were removed out of this hellscape of a fire, looking at it, watching the video. The number of people hurt was one firefighter and two policemen who came in, or it came in, in answer to this fire starting. No one was hurt because they were in, in the cathedral when the fire started, or even when it really started to get going. I mean, the, the coincidences here are astonishing. We have this horrendous, horrendous fire. And we are not talking about people being trampled, death tolls, the sheer number of people who could have been hurt, killed, is incredible. And none of that happened. And most of the major artwork was saved. And if you've seen a photograph of the one of the rose windows, the stained glass windows is still intact and it is magnificent. The bell towers are still intact. Really what this fire has done in this time of great division, I understand that a lot of people are saying, this is terrible, this is just one more awful thing that's happening in the world. But for some reason, the energy I'm getting off of it isn't so much, this is just another horrible, horrible thing. What I'm getting is that if God wanted to bring people together around the world and have them work together to rebuild something in a positive way and, and feel empathy and shared grief without it being a un, unbearable human tragedy. Well, I mean, one way to look at it, and I know this is kind of, kind of weird, but you know, technically isn't the cathedral kind of his property? Sort of, kind of. So would you, if you were God, would you sacrifice one of your own buildings? Of course, an incredibly important, very, very old, incredibly important building. It was almost as if God himself, the, the divine, I should say, because we're starting to cross over into to beliefs I was raised with rather than beliefs I have, but but if you were the divine, would you look at this building and say, all right, well, I'll wait until there's hardly anyone in there and where no one will get hurt. Okay, let me look around. There's nobody there. A fire can start now and they will rebuild it and they will work together to rebuild it and they'll be able to save most, the vast majority of the art. And beyond that, it is just a building. It's beautiful, it's magnificent, it's important, but we're not having mass funerals today. And so while everyone is upset, and I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm not saying it's a good thing that this happened. I'm saying that the, the coincidences of the way this has this played out has, has really given me pause. So let's have a, let's just have a quick look. I know this is, Tarot cards are very not, you know, very frowned upon in Catholicism, but let's just have a quick look about the rebuilding and structure, that sort of thing. Just a quick reading on this. Quick look here. I really hope, I really hope I'm, I'm not being misunderstood. I'm, I really care about history. When, oh my gosh, when like the Buddhas were destroyed um, by, was it the Taliban or? I mean, it makes me crazy when people willfully destroy uh, religious artifacts. That makes me crazy. But the police have already ruled out arson. 
that is what I've read. So unless unless I hear differently, in which case I will completely change what I think, but I, the, 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 this, is, this is what I'm getting. Oh, it's, it's the perfect, it's probably too dark to see. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, I've brought this light over a little bit to help with the, help you see the cards. It might be a little bit of a glare, but it'll be okay. Well, that's kind of the perfect, perfect card to describe what we're feeling now, the incredible loss of, of what was lost in the cathedral. But there is still, there is still, I mean, it's almost symbolic of the two bell towers that are still standing. Okay. In the past. I mean, that's, that's how it started in the 1100s. They, they built huge scaffolding and, and to put the, the stone up. I mean, in the past. This is in the past. So the reading. Yes, yes, and no. It's certainly the end of a particular era of the state of, of the cathedral, but Face of the reading. People traveling from all over the world to see it. And there has been a an ongoing fight to try to get funding to repair it because it was already having serious issues and needed serious restoration. I'm trying to reach around this lamp. Above it, the heartbreak of the, the, the people who absolutely, the, the culture, they love the, the, the cultural symbolism, uh, not to mention the religious beliefs, and they're just heartbroken at, at what has happened, which is completely understandable. Okay, near future. Going in, in going in back into the cathedral, and the people trying to work out is the structure, you know, what parts of the structure are still intact, which are not making because this is decisions and this is obviously a, a building going through a real shock this is a this is about going in and looking and, and still putting their it's going to take days to put some of the fires out but they're going to have to make decisions about what's salvageable what needs to be replaced what is structurally sound i mean it's it's going to be quite an undertaking home environment home environment is is these are the ships coming in this is all the good that has been done around that cathedral, all of the joy it has brought people, all of the cultural identity, the history it is, it is encapsulated, and and that goodwill coming back, hopes and fears. To be honest, it, it kind of there's a fear that people with money will not will be will hold on to their money too tightly, but this also feels like there's, there's, this is very complicated and I'm, I'm not in a position to fully explain this, this card because what I'm getting is this also has to do with an awful lot of people who are questioning, why would God do this? Why, uh, what are we going to do now? What, what does this mean? I mean, they're, it's sort of getting into areas of other people's faith. What other people see, yeah, I mean, this is a very, this, this card has a lot of religious symbolism and very obviously not the happy, happy kind of religious symbolism. And it's a sacrifice. And it's a loss. Um, and, you know, I don't usually talk about this. I usually this card usually comes up as oh, there's going to be a delay. There's going to be a wait. Uh, someone going to be quote unquote strung up by their heels in the sense of, you know, going to the police are going to arrest them. But this is the symbolism of this card is actually very very dark. Actually, a very dark card. Anyway, the final outcome. Oh, oh, still trying to reach around the lamp. That's, I mean, that's good. And this is, you'll notice these are not major arcana. This is people who are, are traumatized by this. 
who are hurt by this, being comforted, people coming together, uh, people with money making donations, people who care. And, and these are people coming together. This is not, this isn't like major arcana force of the universe kind of things. This is people being drawn together for a common good cause to restore a piece of history, to talk to neighbors perhaps who they haven't talked to before in France or in, in other places in the world, you know, if, if your neighbors are particularly distraught about this. I mean, this is, this is about, uh, this is an opportunity to come together. It, they're going to rebuild and it's going to be okay. And I'm, I'm all, I've already been praying for the firefighter specifically, but the, also the two policemen who have been injured. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it, it would be better instead of just thinking of it as the end, the, something truly awful and, and horrific. Maybe think about it as an opportunity. I think one of the wisest people who ever lived was the mother of Mr. Fred, Fred Rogers. If you're not from America, uh, I, I know people in England. I once tried to explain Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood to some people in England. It was a children's TV show, and they were like, that just sounds weird. It's like, no, it's actually very comforting. And Fred Rogers was a, a real hero to a lot of people uh, for his kindness and his goodness and what he did for children. But his mother famously said when, when Fred was young and he would see some catastrophe on TV, his mother told him, when you're looking at all those horrific images, look for the helpers. Look for the people running forward to help, to do good, because they always show up. All right, so try to keep that in mind. And I know she was one of the wisest people ever because she raised Fred Rogers. And I, I do apologize if I've offended anyone with my thoughts here. I certainly don't mean to. And I mean no disrespect. My, like I said, my entire family is devoutly Catholic. And I, I would not be disrespectful of their beliefs or of them or, their, or any pain they felt. So I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't be that way toward others. But, but we'll rebuild and maybe it'll help bring us together a little, okay? Thank you for watching.